welcome to Overflow Church. We're so excited you could be here today, and we hope you have a great time and feel at home. Here are some announcements and ways you can stay connected. Hey guys, we don't mind at all if you guys use your cell phones during service or whatever mobile device you have. Just be sure to check it on Facebook, hashtag on Twitter. Let's just get the name of Overflow out there. We're glad you're here with us today. Don't forget you guys can follow along with today's message at overflowdfw.com. Hey, we want to invite everybody out on March 14th and 15th for The Encounter. This is going to be a weekend retreat, Friday night and a Saturday morning. Just an opportunity for us to dig in a little bit deeper with Jesus, have a little bit of time of, of personal ministry. Just a weekend to really just bring some transformation and solidify some things in our life. We encourage you to be here at Overflow Church on March 14th and 15th for The Encounter. There are many ways to get involved here at Overflow. We encourage you to get plugged in. Just go to overflowdfw.com forward slash get in the flow. Join us Wednesday nights at 6.30 for encounter groups. We will come together for worship, purposeful conversations, and personal ministry. We hope to see you there. In 2 Kings verse 4, we see the story of the widow who came to Elijah because she owed debt to a creditor. And in verse 2 it says, What can I do to help you, Elijah asked. Tell me, what do you have in the house? Nothing at all except a flask of olive oil, she replied. And Elisha said, Borrow as many empty jars as you can from your friends and neighbors. Then go into your house with your sons and shut the door behind you. Pour olive oil from your flask into the jars, setting each one aside when it is filled. So she did as he told her. And her sons kept bringing jars to her, and she filled one after the other. Soon every container was filled to the brim. Bring me another jar, she said to one of her sons. There aren't any more, he told her. And then the olive oil stopped flowing. You see, it doesn't matter what we have. It doesn't matter if it's just a little bit. She only had one flask of oil. But when she went and she came into agreement with the word of God through Elisha, she poured and poured and poured until the olive oil didn't even have anywhere else to be poured. And just in the same way, you can come into agreement with God in your finances by giving the tithes and the offerings. It doesn't matter if it's a small amount today, but if you entrust it to God, then He will do just the same, and He will give you more and more and more to you do not have enough to receive it. Thank you so much for being faithful in your tithes and offerings, and we can't wait to hear the testimonies that are soon to come.